Hello Watch Geeks, in this episode you'll be seeing our friend of the Watch Snapper unboxing uh, an incredibly good looking Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Professional 600 meters with a blue dial. So sit back and enjoy the video. Um. Hello and welcome to the unboxing of clearly an Omega and uh, if you've probably read the title you'll see it's an Omega Planet Ocean 8900 and this for me is a grail watch um, we make a long time for this so I am extremely extremely pleased to be able to unbox this today so there you see first of all we have the Omega wooden box which is just out of this world. The quality is tremendous. You have your operating instructions on the side, along with your warranty card, master chronometer card, and pictograms. One of the one of the beautiful things with this is that you can actually take the details that are on there, go into the Omega website, register your watch, and you can actually see the result of the, the latest testing which is gone through to make it a master chronometer. Here guys, what's that box? Push button to open. The camera's picking that up. <coughs> yeah, there's a wee bit of tape left. As I say, the, the quality of the box is incredible. Solid wood, leather inside. But the start of the, the show is definitely this wee beauty here. Absolutely incredible. So, quick spec check. Um, to be fair, it's not the, the first Planet Ocean video on YouTube, so you'll probably know the specs. But 43.5mm in diameter. I believe it's 48 or 49 lug to lug. 21 millimeter, <coughs> excuse me, 21 millimeter um, lug width. Bit of an odd one, but realistically for me it's never coming off the bracelet. And 16 and a half millimeters thick. Display case back is, is a huge feature of this. Because it displays that beautiful in house. Master chronometer certified Omega Calibre 8900 Twin barrel, power reserve is 60 hours and accurate due to the the Master Chronometer certification to be in zero, sorry, minus zero to plus five seconds per day accuracy Look at that, that's beautiful It's incredible that they've got a 600 meter dive watch able to withstand that sort of pressure and still manage to squeeze in a sapphire crystal case back. Beautiful. 120 quick bit, uh, click bezel. Really nice and smooth, there's no back play. It's not the firmest Bezel of action I've ever experienced it. Which again is not necessarily a bad thing. A beautiful blue dial just catches the light so many ways. The applied indices, applied 6, 9 and 12 markers. And of course the Omega log logos applied as well. Just adding a wee touch of class. I did look at the black version of this. There's currently a white version with an orange bezel, which is really, really nice. The, the bezel and that's actually loomed, unlike the liquid metal of the, the black and the blue bezels. And as nice as, as I just, because it's a grill, I couldn't fig I couldn't see myself wearing, or still liking to wear that colour scheme 10, 15, 20 years from now, whereas blue and black, yeah, I definitely can. Date there at nine o'clock, sorry, at three o'clock. I know a lot of people would be quite happy with a non-date version, but I think the date suits it and it balances off the nine quite nicely. 
with our hands. Three link bracelet. And you have the push adjustable micro adjustments at the back there. You can see you've still got some of the, the wee stickers on. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. You just press the wee button and out it goes. You've got five little notches there. So as your wrist expansion contracts throughout the day, you quick press and out it and out and in it goes. You've also got a traditional diver's extension. Which I'm not hugely... There we go. Not something I use on a regular basis, but there you go. Now, one thing that I, I picked up in someone else's video is, I don't know if the camera is picking it up particularly well, but on the lip of this diver's extension, or on the edge, there is a tiny little lip. And I've seen a few videos where people struggle to get this diver's extension back in and they just sort of leave it hanging there. You need to actually almost sort of scoop it under. So it comes in, so it's in vertically and closes in securely nice and easy only got logo and uh, name and clasp twin button pushers milled clasp as you would expect along with screw links I just I think it's an absolutely stunning watch as I say I, look at, I looked at the black one and as nice as it is, and it's probably slightly more versatile than this for most people, I just found that for me, the, the contrast between the black and the orange was too much. Had it been red, as it is in the Seamaster 300 Professional, it may have been different. But I like blue watches, and I've got plenty of black watches, and I've got plenty of blue watches, so it really was a first world issue. However, I feel that, for me, the cool tones from the blue matching in or contrasting in with the, the warm tones and the wee orange bit there down at the bottom telling you 600 metres, 2000 feet, the Seamaster script and the tip of the seconds hand was just a really really nice contrast and that really did it for me. I would like to say a huge huge gigantic thank you to Ian and the guys at Wallace Allen and Air. I have always believed that you know, in any any business environment, customer service is king. And you should always give your client the experience which you expect to receive from someone yourself. And certainly in my own photography business, that's a that's been a, a driving force over the last ten years. What I experienced from Wallace Allen and Air, who are an authorised dealer for uh, uh, Oris, Tag, Omega, various other bits and pieces was first class. It's abs it's hands on heart, one of the best customer service experiences I have had in my life. Spoke with Ian several times, we discussed watches, we, we looked at the different options. Um, I was toying with going with the, the 300 professional in blue. But the fact of the matter was this was this is the one this is the one I've wanted for years and that was it. At the moment we're in COVID nineteen lockdown. Therefore, visiting your AD is not going to happen. So Ian wanted to give me the closest to an in-person AD experience that I possibly could. So he very kindly took some photographs, volunteered to take some photographs with his smartphone um, in the store, empty box, various bits and pieces being done, the paperwork being done, and, and he sent them. He then jumped in his own car and he drove 15 miles to my house to deliver this beautiful thing. Now, obviously, because of COVID restrictions, he couldn't come in uh, as much as I would have loved to make him a cup of coffee. The, the bag was sat on the, the path. He stepped back a, a few big steps and then let me pick it up. But I think for an authorised dealer to, to go that that extra mile, you know, especially during lockdown when a lot of people's heads are, are going, uh, going down, speaks volumes about the guys at Wallace Allen. That's also the same guys that, that supplied Morris Aquas recently. Hang on. But that's just incredible. For me, guys, if you're, if you're looking for Oris, if you're looking for uh, Omega, if you're looking for Tag, have a look at their, their website, Wallace Allen in here, 
uh, and you will not be disappointed. The, the customer service is absolutely first class, as is this beautiful thing here. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'll I'll try and drop in some B-roll if I can. I'm not sure if I'm going to get some B-roll today or not. I just I, I find myself looking at it too often, but if I can, I will. So here we have a wrist shot on my seven and a half inch wrist. I know a lot of people might question the height of this at 16.5 millimetres. Genuinely, it just it gets lost. It's just really, really easy to wear. I think possibly a 7 inch wrist or smaller, the 39mm version would be better for you, possibly, but the way the, the, the bracelet just drops straight from the side makes it really wearable. The height's not a big issue, certainly for me. I am, as I say, I'm six foot one. I'm a big lump of a boy. It's seven, uh, seven and a half inch wrist. I also have, if, if uh, as a reference, I've got a Christopher Ward C60 Trident Mark II in forty three and a half millimeters, and this wears better. And I, I love my Christopher Ward, but this wears better. Christopher Ward has male end links rather than the female here, so it does stick out a wee bit more. So the, the effective lug to lug distance in this is shorter. Maybe a wee bit taller, but it's not that bad. And one of the things I hear people saying is it won't fit underneath a shirt cuff. Realistically, folks, if that's that, that's your criteria for buying a watch, then it's probably not the watch for you. You buy this watch because you want this watch. Plain and simple. Most of us will not be diving to 600 metres. Most of us will never use the helium release valve on the side. I don't care. I really don't care. The heart wants what the heart wants, and this is what the heart wanted, and I am very, very happy. Thanks for watching, folks.